In today's video, I want to share with you how to stop being sad, how to get yourself out of a negative mood every single time you find yourself in one. How to stop being sad. The truth of the matter is, you'll never be able to create the life you truly want to live if you're always in a sad, depressive, negative mood. If you're even taking a lot of action from a negative state of being, you will continue to carry this negative state of being into whatever future you create for yourself. So it is so important for you to not only to just stop being sad, but actually to uncover the part of you that is unaffected by the sadness, through which naturally the sadness will have less and less um, hold over you, effect over you. So even though in this video, right, I said how to, how to stop being sad instantly, Yes, it is an instant solution. However, it isn't like a quick fix. It isn't something that you're just gonna completely just get right after this video and you're gonna be able to do it. It does require work. However, once you get better at it, it becomes instant. Because with anything on this channel, you know I don't discuss quick fixes and like gimmicky techniques or whatnot. This is truly like stuff that works. I'm only interested in stuff that works and stuff that is actually effective for you, creating that lasting transformation. Okay, so what, what you learn in this video is not just going to help you get out of a sad mood right now. It's not going to give you relief. It's actually going to give you a lasting transformation if you put in the work. <clears throat> so let's start with this. You can only feel negative. You can only feel really sad about what is happening if you are identifying with what is happening. If your sense of identity, your sense of self is attached to what is going on. Because only if you believe you are this physical mind and body and this situation is you right now, then you will obviously be affected by the emotions that it brings. Not only that, but on top of being identified with the physical, if you have a definition that this is not supposed to be happening to me right now, that I don't want to be experiencing this right now, and you're just full of resistance to what is currently already manifested, then you will feel such negative emotions. The more you resist the, what is happening right now, the more you will feel sad, the more you will feel that negative emotion that you're feeling. Okay, so there are two problems here, right? One is identification with the physical, and two, it's the negative belief system that you have about what is currently going on. And these are the two things that we wanna tackle if you wanna stop being sad instantly. <clears throat> so here, for the first, right, being identified with the physical, you have to start to recognize the part of yourself that is not affected by what is happening. Right, And this part of you does not exist within the physical. This part of you does not exist within this mind and body. You have to start to access the part of you that is always here. Thoughts come and go. Emotions come and go. Experiences come and go. People come and go. Jobs come and go. Possessions come and go. But a sense of me, a sense of I, is always present here. And it is through which I am experiencing all of these things coming and going, including my own, my own thoughts, including my own different versions of my own body, including many different versions of who I think I am, my identities, my characteristics. They're all, they all seem to be coming and going. Think about it, right? Like five years ago, the person you thought you were, like the hairstyle you had, the beliefs you held about life, is that the same person who you are today? No, it is not. Because even that person and like something that you believe you are on such a deep level, even that is changing and coming and going constantly. But yet the sense of I is constantly present right here. It, it, is, it never moves. The only things that move are all the stuff. Everything else moves other than this. Just the sense of now, the sense of me. And you falsely identify that sense of me with the mind and body, with the movie character that is in the physical. And you falsely identify that sense of self 
with all the stuff that is coming and going. Now, let me ask you this. If you are falsely identified with what is always coming and going, will you not feel a constant sense of anxiety and fear for losing what is currently present, for clinging on to you know, what is good about your life, for avoiding like losing something or avoiding what is not uh, currently good about your life? Only if you are, if you think, okay, this physical is reality, this physical is me, will you always live in that constant state of anxiety and you will always find yourself being sad, negative, depressed because things are constantly coming and going in this life. There is no ha true happiness being identified with the physical because you're constantly identified with things that are coming and going, including your thoughts. Only when you start to detach your sense of self from the physical and start to recognize the part of you that is always here, that is always present, and that is not at all affected by what is going on in the physical. That's when you can start being, just stop being sad instantly. Now you may say, Sonny, how do I accomplish that? That's like, that sounds so difficult or whatnot. <clears throat> but it's not. It's not difficult. Matter of fact, this, this part of you that is unaffected by the physical is not something that you have to gain, is not something that you have to create. It's something that is already here. It's something that has always been here your entire life, but you have been neglecting it because you're so occupied with the physical. You've been so consumed by the illusion that you have completely forgotten your reality, which is the now, which is the sense of I, which is the sense of being here right now, within which all of this physical, including your mind and body, including your thoughts or everything, they just come and go. Only once you start to access this perspective is there a certain detachment that you can feel from the physical. So even when things that you really love leave your experience, including partners, including people, that you, you can look at that and still not feel completely like broken, right? Because your sense of identity of who you are is not attached to them attached to the coming and going and attached to the person that is experiencing this coming and going and you build this perception only through meditation this can never dawn on you if you do not meditate if you do not meditate you will always be attached to the physical you will think physical is reality even though you follow so many law of attraction teachings and spiritual teachings you will still never be able to penetrate that kind of veil that allows you to have this detachment because you're constantly just occupied with all these thoughts and you believe in the reality. You believe that that voice is you and you just constantly operate in the physical, believing in the physical. Even though you believe, oh, I'm not the mind and body, you still act like it. You still um, live like it. And that's why there's constant anxiety. That's why there's like happiness is nowhere to be found or it comes in short little spurts, but then it gets replaced by fear and lack again. That's the nature of the physical. That's the nature of being identified with the physical, I should say. But through meditation, you unlock the door and you open the door into who you truly are. Little by little, you start to gain this perception of me and things coming and going so that you can always remain here in your peace, in your happiness. And you could just simply start to be the witness of what is coming and going. Not only can you just be the witness, but actually you will have greater control over what is coming and going and where you want to direct this flow of what is coming and going. And once you start to gain this detachment, recognizing when things aren't going well, right, in your life, recognizing that if you know, all this stuff that is happening that is so negative right now, even this is not me. This too shall pass. And with that recognition comes instant freedom, poof, from your sadness. Because the sadness only exists for the one which is identified with what is coming and going. But the one that is unaffected, the one that is just the observer of what is coming and going, is not affected by what is coming and going. 
He's just watching it. It is just watching it. So think about it like this. When you're going to watch the movies and you're sitting in the cinema hall and you're watching this movie play on the screen, and when the actor goes through some like tragedy, you're, you, you know, you kind of maybe feel for him, but you're able to keep this detached perspective on his story. And you know, like, it's going to be fine. Like, it's not a big deal. You know, it's just like, you know, all this, this plot, this story. And you're able to witness it without being completely absorbed in it. But the thing is, if you do become completely absorbed in it, right? Like, let's just say you lose yourself in the movie, you'll start crying. You'll start being so sad. You'll feel like that that's happening to you. Right? And that's what good movies try to do. They try to completely hook you in where you like identify with the movie character. And now you start to feel all the pains of the movie character, but you also feel the happiness of the movie character when he's happy. So if that's so that's the reality, right? If you have lost yourself in the movie character, you will be completely controlled by the movie character's world, by the movie that is playing. But now through meditation, you start to detach and you start to realize that you're not the movie character. You're not the movie that is playing. But instead, you're this like, watcher just like eating popcorn watching the movie and through this because you gain that detachment to even when you're like experiencing a difficult time you can still be balanced you can still feel okay you can still keep a positive out keep a positive outlook and you could instantly let go of that sadness realizing that oh that is not me that too will pass see what passes cannot be you what is you is always here. What is real cannot be challenged. Only what is temporary passes. If you were temporary, you would have also passed when that passed. But you always remain here. You're the witnesser of what never was, then came into being, and then left. So who are you to watch all that stuff coming and going? You're not the stuff. You're the watcher of the stuff. You're the person sitting in the movie theater watching it all happen and once you start to realize yourself as more and more as the movie like the person watching the movie you can also just choose you know like what movie to watch <laughs> you can choose if you want to play a different movie you can choose to change things in what is on, uh, what is being projected on the screen but if you think you're in the movie and you believe in the reality of the movie then you'll always just be Swaying between sad and happy, positive, negative, good, bad, and just the pain, pleasure of the movie. That's going to be a reality. So again, this allows you to stop being sad instantly. However, again, as you just heard, it requires work. It requires daily meditation. It requires daily present moment awareness. Only through it will you ever gain this perspective and the ability to let go of sadness like that when it is happening to you. Now, to just top this off with um, something else which is more immediate, which is you, you can, which is gonna help you immediately also let go of that sadness, is to realize that that sadness is only coming not from the event itself, right? Like you losing your job is not a sad event. It's just an event. You, uh, someone leaving you, someone breaking up with you is not a sad event. It is just an event. All events are inherently neutral in meaning. They don't come attached with emotion. The emotion is all you. And it's determined by the definition that you give to the event. So the event of you losing your job is an inherently neutral event. It's not positive or negative. But the belief that you have about that event, if it's positive, then positive emotions will come out of it. If it's negative, then negative emotions will come out of it. But see, the world has brought you up and conditioned you in such a way where they have told you, okay, if someone gives you a compliment, that's a good thing. Be happy. If someone breaks up with you, that is tragic. Be so sad and uh, feel like you're unworthy. If you lose your job, feel really sad. But if you buy a new car, be really happy. So they have literally decided for you, the world has decided for you how you should feel when certain things happen. And you have completely accepted this conditioning unconsciously. Now, it is your duty throughout this life, it is your job to unravel this conditioning and realize that all of these things that are happening are inherently neutral in meaning. They don't come attached with any emotion. The emotion is produced from within. The emotion is all you. And it is determined by the definition, 
that you give to this event, the belief that you hold to be true about this event. So if you do lose your job, you can believe that to be just a part of your journey, something that like is very necessary for you to even move on to something better. And if that's your belief, then you will not even feel negative whatsoever when you do lose that job. When you, you can like someone can leave you and break up with you, yet you can still feel happy because you're like you have the wisdom that like, OK, I'm going to choose to give this a positive meaning. If this person left me, then they were obviously not right for me and I will find someone even better. And through that, you will have positive emotions. But see, if you completely lose your sense of balance and believe it's tragic that you lost your job, then you will be completely broken down. And same thing with the relationship, you'll be completely broken down. So see, the emotion is all you and it is a choice that you're making consciously or unconsciously. So if you're sad right now, ask yourself, what am I believing to be true about myself, about this current event that is making this emotion of sadness? Every single time you believe something to be negative, you experience a negative emotion. So what are you believing to be true right now? Become aware of that. Realize, did I choose to believe this or is it just like conditioning? Is this just like I'm uh, taught to believe that this is a negative event? Become aware of that and let it go. Choose what you want to believe about this current situation. And through that, free yourself from the sadness, the negative emotion. All right. Again, it's all about awareness. Life is very simple. It is all about awareness. And the more you rise in awareness, the more you gain the power to create your reality. All right. And now if you want to actually know how to, in a detailed way, create the life you truly want to live from this higher awareness, from this higher consciousness mindset, I'm giving away a free workshop right now that teaches you exactly how to do that. Um, again, it's free. All you have to do is click the link in the description box below and it takes you straight to the page. Watch that and let me know how it goes. Uh, I've been getting an amazing feedback on it so far and I know it's going to help you create the life you truly want. So obviously now you're learning how to not be sad anymore and how to process your emotions better, how to always be more balanced and detached. Along with that, if you uh, implement what you learn in this workshop about creating your life from a higher consciousness mindset, you will accelerate your results so much. So make sure to watch that, okay? But other than that, you know, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you gained a lot of value from it. Let me know what, were your, what was your greatest takeaway in the, um, in the comment section below, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, also put that in the comments below. So give me a thumbs up, share this video with a friend who would also find it helpful. Um, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.